welcome back to another hair video and uh, for this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i apply my glued on webbed hair extensions so you're gonna i'm gonna be showing you the whole process of um sizing them applying them styling them the whole shebang so here we're gonna go we're just well, you know me i just jump right into the video so <clears throat> i just dyed these hair extensions yesterday they're pretty close they're a little bit lighter than my hair and i was gonna dye them today a little bit darker but i ended up being you know what it's fine it's close enough i'm gonna show you guys how i pretty much blend them so you guys can see um but yeah so i already straightened my hair and i do it better when i have like my acrylic nails because that's just i just go like this and then pretty much I'm separating my hair like that but I have no nails so I'm just gonna work with what we have and um the way I dyed them um this one got a little bit darker than this side so I'm gonna start off with this one on the bottoms and then do this one because it's closer to my hair color and like I said again it isn't 100% match but it is fine I'm gonna show you guys how to blend it out and make it work so um yeah we're just gonna get into it um how they're gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be straining the hair as I go, um, as I'm applying them. So, pretty much you just need your hair extensions, you need some scissors, and you're gonna need your glue. And for this one, I'm using this glue, I'm getting the glare. Um, but this is the Salon, Salon Pro uh, 30 second super hair bond glue, super cheap at any hair stores, hair supply, beauty supply stores. Like probably like five dollars or something they have this one at sally's too super cheap but i don't know they're not really selling a lot of hair extensions at sally's so i don't know if you'd be able to get your hands on this similar glue that they have there but they're pretty much the same smell the same everything's the same all right so we're gonna start with parting the lower hair and i have some you can do clips you can do um uh, rubber bands or you know rubber bands yeah probably so I'm going to show you guys here, hopefully you guys can see. Um, I usually start with this hair length that I have right now. I'll kind of start from the bottom, not too, too close to the bottom because I do like to put my hair up in a ponytail. So um, I don't like to do it too, too from the bottom. That way when I have to pull my hair up, it's fine. So this is how it looks. This is the chunk right here. You can be super precise with it or you can just kind of you know use your nails and stuff to part the hair before when i was in high school all these super precise like i would have in the mirror in the back mirror in the front i would have my little uh comb and line it up so what i do i get the weft right now it's like the whole weft of it together um and then i just kind of feel it out hopefully you guys can see I fill it out, so I feel like this is like the edge, so I'll size it up right now, from one edge to the other, and I keep holding on to this one, I bring it back around, and that's where I'm going to cut with the scissors, and then you cut, comb it out a bit, and I'm actually going to straighten it before I put it on. You don't have to straighten it. You can leave it like that. But I'm just going to straighten it out. Just to see how it looks. You're gonna be able to see what side to apply the glue on because they're not the same. Usually, I wanna see if probably for most hair extensions, both sides are not the same. So you see this side versus this side. As you can see, this one seems thicker. Like it seems like it's um, thicker. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but the side seems thinner from the outline and this one seems thicker. So you wanna apply glue to the thicker side. If that makes sense so i usually do it on a flat surface 
Um, and as we start getting longer hair lengths, usually you can put like something in the middle to hold it as you're holding onto the sides and applying the glue so you don't get any like little um, flyaway hairs on it because then it starts being a mess when you apply it each time. So you want to do it as neatly. Oh, I'm just putting it right on the edge. That little outline, the little sketch, the little sew-in area that I showed you. And this is pretty much how it looks. Put the glue on. I get it from each side. And again, before I completely apply it, I'm gonna kind of fill it out and do it as close as I can to that line. Now, each time it's not gonna come out perfect. There's gonna be times where you kind of go a little bit above, but that's okay. And literally, it's on. Now, I'm not gonna pull on it because it is 30 seconds and it's still a little wet, but it's on. So I don't bother it, I don't move it, I leave it alone. And then we move on to the next section. It's a whole project here and then again i'm filling it out so i did the last one here i'm gonna do the next one just a little above that because i do have shorter hair so i want to blend make sure everything is nice and blended this one i'm going to pull it up a little bit more because i have a little bit of the bangs coming down and i don't want any of the hair above to get mixed up with the hair down below uh, some little clips here to hold those bangs and again we're going to start up sizing and get your weft of hair and we're going to size it let's see if it's a little one down here And again, like I said, if you want to be more precise, you can use a mirror in front and in the back of you. I have one off to the side right now of me. You know how you, you have a, I have like a mirror right in front of me, like right here, and then I have one off to the side. So you can kind of rotate it a little bit <clears throat> and it'll give you a little bit more of a glimpse. I have done this for quite some time, so I'm a little bit more of a, I feel it out. I'm not too much of a perfectionist, but um, when I first started, I was. So again, straighten it. And then we'll start gluing it. And this is pretty much the whole process, guys. So um, again, find what side it's on, apply the glue. I'm doing it right now on the counter of the sink and that's pretty much what the whole deal is um so right now i'm just gonna be pretty much doing a little fast motion me completing the whole process and then um yeah i'll start talking again when i'm done oh and also hold it guys make sure you hold it on for a couple of seconds Make sure it's nice and stuck there before you let go and you continue working on the rest of the hair. So, let's go.
I've got to the top looking like I have a mullet um, and this is where I change things up a bit um, as you can see when I was doing the ones from up here and up I was I wasn't even turning around I was I started off on one side because once I signed it sized it up I know I sized it up pretty well so I glue it on from one side and as I'm applying the rest of it I'm holding on to it so it sticks and by the time I'm done reaching this side this side is pretty much good and set so I do th this process a little bit different now I'm not going to continue doing the whole circling around my head um, now I'm going to be just doing just lines so you, I'm going to show you guys right now so first you need to decide the parting do you want it you know in the middle do you want it off to the side I'm going to do mine in the middle and I'm going to show you guys how I do it so I'm going to stay pretty close to the other one as well it looks like I have a decent amount of lash of uh, lashes <laughs> of extensions left lash extensions that's what I was about to say and then I'm gonna pretty much make a straight line down for this one I just use a clip to hold this hair and we shall begin so this one again I'm gonna size it up pretty much until it reaches the back of the other so there's another extension here with so I'm gonna just use it until it reaches that one and then cut it from there mm, got a hair in my mouth <laughs> cut it and then straighten and then apply and I'm gonna do probably two or three of these on each side I have to see how much hair is left and kind of go from there So what you can do is you can just get a hair and then cut another one the same size as that so you don't have to line yours up. You can do it that way um, or just keep doing it the other way where you're sizing individually but I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut things a little bit so I'm sizing up the one that I just cut because pretty much that's gonna be how I'm gonna be doing the rest of it. around the same size if it is which I think it is actually it's right around the same size that's how I do it so this is what's left I'm gonna fold it in half nice and tight and then cut it right in the middle then I'm gonna fold again should have about three strands on each side total of six strands left and then three and three that shouldn't be too complex and there we go so now we'll begin with applying them straighten it out You can see how it's still it's still fine because it reaches all the way from the front to the back of my hair, so it will be fine. It'll blend out.
difference. It's still the color difference, but it's okay. Don't get too scared. I'm myself not too scared. I'm like, okay, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. So I have two more. not long I've been recording now for 28 minutes almost 29 and we're pretty much almost done with installing it and that's me talking talking to you guys about it and everything um, so it's a pretty fast process I did it all the way to the very top. It just blends. It looks almost like a little bit of an ombre effect. But the hair is really blend. And then with a strainer, then you can go over, kind of combine both hairs, your hair, the extensions, and make it look more of a seamless blend. And then you can see your extensions. You can go ahead. Um, and use what I've done before because I have a pretty light scalp one and two I have very thin hair so you can kind of see my scalp is so I'll get eyeshadow as closest to the hair color and then we'll just eyeshadow it in and then you can't even tell you can't even see you know the weft in there I mean it's a little hard to see but if you were to be able to like when I have black hair it's more noticeable because my scalp is very light and you know you can see the black weft um, so in that case I will um, add that eyeshadow in there but this is how it looks on now you can straighten it sometimes what I do is I will cut the very ends of it so it's like nice and straight but I'm not going to do that this time because I'm gonna go from like an 18 inch to like 16 inch. Um, and I want the length. So, what I usually do on my go to style to style is just with the strainer, you do this, you make little curls, see? And it's easier to blend the hair like this. Your hair with the hair extensions it just looks so much more natural 
natural and like it could be yours or damn it's a really good installation yet you did it all by yourself damn the things that women do how exciting the look i did all of that by myself so i was debating on getting like keratin tips k-tips or eye tips or something um before when i had my black hair but then i was like oh i don't know because sometimes i do get irritated having the long hair and i just want to have my natural hair and just wear it out like that so this side always comes out funky i think it's the way i curl it but um sometimes i want to have my own natural hair and stuff so i feel like this helped you know, do it, continue doing it this way helps just to give my hair and my scalp a breather and that way I can do hair treatments on it, all that. And then put these on whenever I feel like putting them on and taking them off whenever I feel like taking them off. And I love doing that. I love being able to be versatile with them. That it's not like uh, I'm stuck with them. Um, but who knows, maybe in the future, once I know for a fact that I'm going to stick to a hair color, whether that be black or this color, which I love, then I just have to get some matching extensions and put them on. So, you guys can see right now, this side always comes out better than this side. I don't know why. But, um, that was pretty much it. And look, I'm pulling on it. Um, pulling on it and everything. And they're on. So you can let them cool off and then I just go and start brushing it with my hands. Brushing it through with my hands. And you see how cute it looks. It can be a little bit extra. You see how I can add that little, I don't know what to call it, like curling it, I guess, from more above, and then letting it cool off a little bit, and then brushing it out so it stays. So that's pretty much how it looks. I'm trying to use a freaking, um, <laughs> thumbnail because my thumbnails are always funky and i get too lazy sometimes to go and upload a different picture and put it on but this is how it looks and you guys can see how i blended it don't be too scared as long as it's like a level up or level down you can blend it but i really like it look how it came out super super cute and you can style it you can do whatever you can put it up in a ponytail let me show you guys I put a little bit more effort in my ponytail. You can put it up in a ponytail. And since I didn't do it from way to the low, or way to low, you can't really see it. You can put it up in a bun. That's like my go to in a bun. Um, put your bangs down. Now she's cute. Yeah, this is pretty much the look, guys. Um, to take it off, there are some oils. That you can buy that can you can put it on um they're special to removing the hair extensions what i usually do is i'll leave it on for i don't know like four or five days i'll leave it on then i go to the shower wash my hair deep condition it with the deep with the deep conditioner it kind of softens and loosens up the uh, glue uh, that holds your hair extensions and so then you can, you can just pull it off just make sure it's nice and loose. If it's not that loose, don't try and pull it off. You're gonna yank your hair. So, hold on. <coughs> Someone's talking about me. No, but um, yeah, you can do it that way. And that's pretty much that's, that's pretty much it, guys. Taking care of them. I do have um, silk hair uh, pillows, so it helps with the hair, so it doesn't get too frizzy or tangled and stuff. This hair feels really good after I dyed it, so. Pretty sure it should last me some time um but you can do that when you go to sleep make sure you can braid it 
like a loose braid um, just so it doesn't get tangled make sure you brush it out be nice and gentle with it um, and yeah that's it even these curls right here can last me a couple of days like if I just woke up like this but yeah guys so that's pretty much this tutorial it's been 40 minutes that I've been recording and it's crazy because within 40 minutes I showed you guys how to put them on you know straighten them cut them glued them on styled it like the whole shebang so i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful um if you have any questions or recommendations please put them down below but yeah this is an updated way of me doing my hair extensions because i do have a previous video but it's pretty much the same process different glue the same ingredients in the glue and yeah that's it so Till next time guys, bye.